Hello students, let us solve a problem from NEET UG paper 2020. Here is the problem in this problem. You are asked to find out the correct expression for mean free path with molecular diameter d and number density n. So before we solve the problem, let us understand what is mean free path. In any gas, there are gas molecules which will randomly move around them and during the motion, they will collide with each other randomly but in between two successive collisions they will move in a straight line with an average velocity so this straight path in between two successive collisions are called free path if we take the total distance they cover and if we divide with total number of total number of collisions then we get actually the main free path. So how to define main free path? Main free path is the average distance traveled by the gas molecules between two successive collisions. Now, if suppose the average velocity between two successive collisions is V, and let us say in any in any time delta t there is a molecule a which is traveling and all other gas molecules are at rest at this situation this a molecule will collide all those molecules which are d distance away from its path of motion then we can find out the total number of molecules with which this a molecule will collide is the total volume of the cylinder which has radius d and length v into delta t. So what is the volume of this cylinder? The volume of the cylinder is pi d square v delta t. This is the volume of the cylinder. Now if we know the number density that means the number of molecules per unit volume here it is given a n then the total number of molecules with which this a will collide is obtained as n into n you can multiply so this small n into pi d square v delta t so this will give you the total number of collisions so therefore according to the definition mean free path lambda bar is, is equal to v delta t this is the average distance divided by the total number of collisions so pi d square v delta t this is the volume of the cylinder into the number density and if we simplify a bit then this v delta t cancel each other now in this assumption in in deriving this expression we have assumed that only this a atom is in motion but but all other molecules are at rest but if we take that condition into consideration that the all the molecules are moving together then this expression for the main free path will be modified by multiplied by 1 by root 2 and hence we get the correct expression for the mean free path as 1 by root 2 n pi d square therefore the second option will be the correct answer for this question thank you